Organically Ann presents Zombie Brain Soup. Let's kick these Halloween festivities off right with a nice cup of blood. No, just kidding, y'all. It's tomato juice. Don't be scared. So go grab your favorite cauldron and a skillet and let's get started. We're going to use 24 ounces of bat broth. I prefer homemade. Ingredient time. Werewolf shank, a knife, three bay leaves, six cloves of garlic, one onion, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, two pounds of zombie brains, AKA frozen peas, two witch's fingers, three ogre warts, and this party has just begun. Grab your werewolf shank and put it in the bone broth. Add three bay leaves, throw in two pounds of zombie brains, and then we're gonna let this all simmer while we're getting everything else together. Reason why I like using frozen peas instead of the dried ones, it cooks so much faster, and honestly, it's not as gassy. We're going to mince up those six cloves of garlic and throw them in our pot. I like to use a large onion, so we're gonna take that and chop it up fairly small. Grab your olive oil, AKA liquid gold, and start sauteing your onions. I like adding my red pepper flakes, black pepper, and half of my salt in with my onions. It seems to bring out the flavor. Woo, all this chopping, I need a blood break. Break time's over. We are gonna saute these onions until they're translucent. Oh yeah. I almost forgot. We need to throw in one naughty fairy. Fairy dust really has a way of bringing out the savoriness of the werewolf shank. I wouldn't do without it. The onions are ready to go into our pot. Still keep your soup on a low simmer while we get these witch's fingers ready. Once they're shaved, I like to take my grater and grade them up so that they're nice and fine for when we have to puree them. Two large carrots yield about two cups of witch's fingers. Okay gang, let's bring out these ogre warts. They are deliciously disgusting. We're gonna shred them, and they yield about three cups of shredded ogre warts, aka potatoes. Once we've mixed everything together, we're gonna let everything simmer for about a good 20 minutes. Here's when I add that extra teaspoon of salt. Salt it to how you like it. I'll even add a little extra pepper. How's it taste? It's time to remove the werewolf shank. We're going to chop it all up and put it back into our soup once it's pureed. We've also got to remove our fairy skeleton. Nobody wants to choke on a bone. Enjoy the music while we do a quick speed chop. Make sure you get that good marrow out of there. It is power packed with flavor. And the last ingredient to go in our soup is one cup of O positive. The tomato juice acts as a natural flavor enhancer. That werewolf shank yielded about two cups of meat. Nice. It's time to puree our zombie brain soup. Please make sure that you don't have any residual bones inside of your soup. And also make sure to get all those bay leaves out of there. Nobody wants to eat bay leaves.
once everything is pureed, it goes back into the pot. We'll go ahead and add our meat to it and our zombie brain soup is done. It's time to plate it and I found this adorable little cauldron. All we need now is a nice loaf of sourdough bread and another cup of O positive. Blessings to you, thanks for watching and happy Halloween.